Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to review a book that I recently read, Paper Towns by John Green. The book is the basis of the 2016 film entitled Paper Towns. The movie unfortunately was not a great success with Cara Delevingne being the only good thing going for it, which is harsh to say, but true. To be honest, having watched the movie, it wasn't that bad at all. But having read the book, it didn't live up to it. The book had a lot more emotions that I would have loved to see in a movie. But let's forget about the movie for now and focus on the book. It's an enjoyable read above all else. The book is not hard to read using everyday ordinary language and it similarly is directed for teenagers, which is appropriate in my opinion. At the start of the story, we meet the main characters, Quentin, also known as Q, Margot Ross Spiegelman, and all of Q's friends. They really do seem like an average bunch of teenagers. Like in video games, being socially awkward, and always trying to be popular. But Margot, Margot is different. She does not play by the rules that society enforces. She is a free spirit. In my opinion, the build-up of this story is rather boring. All we really do is uh, get an insight on the teenagers, their families, their social lives, and a bit about their ambitions. Nothing too interesting in my opinion. Nothing out the ordinary. But then, then there is Margot. Being the free spirit that she is, she doesn't believe in school, in work, in college, or even capitalization of words as a matter of fact. After this, I guess, introduction to the characters, we get to the climax of the story, which is quite early on in the book. Margot goes to Q's bedroom window, which is quite conveniently next door to hers, and invites him to be her accomplice on a night of adventure and revenge. I was bold too much about the night, but it involves catfish, Vaseline, spray paint, an aquarium, and Q's mother's minivan. After that one long eventful night, they kind of part ways, and Margot is no longer seen. This is where the story takes shape. Q is absolutely obsessed with Margot and convinced that she left Q's for him to find her. And a huge part of the book is focused on Q finding these clues, understand them, and trying to find Margot. Will they find her or not? That is the question. With that in mind, let's get into some details. Where the book outshines the movie is when it comes to the lateral part. To me, the end of the movie felt a bit tacky and rather mainstream. It didn't work well with what the story was building up to that point. But the book, damn. It nearly brought tears to my eyes. It was beautiful and one of John Green's best work. This is the thing that often reoccurs. Movies don't live up to the book. But I guess it's um, become accepted now. But yes, back to the book. I enjoyed it as an easy read. It didn't make you think or draw you incredibly in. But still, it was a great read to pass a few minutes here and there. So let's finish off this video. Would I recommend this book to someone who loves literature? No, probably not. Would I recommend someone who's only getting into adult books? I really do hate that phrase, adult books, but I'll leave it at that. Yes, I would. Yes, I would recommend it. Thank you for watching.